Again. Not again. Please. Could could Kobe doing work? Two for on my shirt. I'm the greatest on the. I don't know. We got KD though. We got we got KD. We do have Uncle Kevin Durant, the Slim Reaper himself. Go Slim Reaper. We got this right here. Um, check in on that. We got some of those right here. You get a Brandon Roy today. Do you have this Brandon Roy? Are you gonna play this Brandon Roy? Do you have the one hundo Brandon Roy? I mean, hey, it's worth it. This Brandon Roy is lit though. I'm not gonna lie to you. But we do have this. Don't don't overlook this. Somebody said it wasn't working. Somebody said that it wasn't working. I don't know if we have new invincibles. Matter of fact, I'm lying. We got new invincibles. We're going to switch it up today, though. We are definitely going to switch it up. I hope you got this. Pause the video here. Lock this in. Definitely lock that in. What we have to get to are these agendas. We're going to jump into these agendas early. We got the summit drop, right? The summit drop is here. This is the summit drop. I don't know if you... uh. You heard what happened to the last security guards? The last security guards. You, didn't you, didn't, you didn't hear what happened to the last security guards. Anyway, we're going to get into these. Hold on. Before we get into these, though, let's back out of here. Let's back out of here. Let's go see exactly what's what with the summits. Now, look, Kevin Durant is here. Draymond Green is here. Kevin Durant is here again. Invincible Kev. Paul George, invincible. He plays the point guard spot. Mono Ginobili is here again. We might not get into the tail of the tape. I'm looking for this hundo Shea Gildress. I'm not going to lie. I'm looking for this hundo Kev, maybe. I don't know. Like, the, a few of these are like, I don't know if, I don't know if Mark Gasol plays on my team. I don't know if Paul Gasol, matter of fact, I know. Paul Gasol doesn't play on my team. Mark Gasol doesn't play on my team. Like, Scoot Henderson doesn't make my team. Kev, these Kevs might make the team. I know that none of these lock-ins make the team. Michael Bridges, Darius Garland. Uh, I mean, they just don't. Michael Bridges and, and yeah, Scoot Henderson doesn't make my team. Um, it is what it is at that point. Let's look at the player market, though. We got to jump into this player market real quick. These lock-ins are going to cost us a million MT again. Duh, we knew that. I guess we knew that. We didn't get nothing out of this. Maybe you didn't see that video yet. I still got a video to drop for Timmy D. Timmy Duncan is stuck on the cutting room floor right now. Don't pay any attention to that, though. We're going to get into... The agendas, definitely. We're gonna lock in the, lo the locker code, definitely. That's what we're gonna do. But as far as these season agendas for the summit packs, these summit packs, Thunder Steals, get five steals with Thunder players over multiple games, get five clutch time offline or clutch time online wins, make 23 pointers over multiple salary cap games, score 50 points with dark matter players or higher over multiple unlimited games. Score 50 points in a game with Dark Matter or higher players nine times. Make 10 four-pointers over multiple clutch time offline or clutch time online games. Okay, I'm glad that this was offline this time. You can do this offline. Complete the Summit Spotlight Challenges. Okay, I mean, that doesn't seem too, too bad. That doesn't seem too bad. And don't forget to go get another unlimited ring if that's what you do. You know what I mean? If you're into that. Yeah, I'm saying. Bring yourself down here to this playbook and get you a free spin. What era did your favorite NBA player play in? Man, my favorite NBA player played in the 2000s, 2010s. I'm going to have to say Kobe. Let's see what that spin gives us. You know what they, the prizes look like. The prizes look like some NBA champion packs and up to 250 MT. That's, I mean, I don't know. I mean, hey, just for doing a poll, who knows? It is what it is. I got 250 MT though, so... We good with that. We got a million MT to play with. Honestly, I'm not looking at spending all of that. I'm not looking at spending most of that. Just not. I'm, I might I might buy a pack or two. But for the most part, I'm, I'm not about to go crazy over KD. I'm kind of, the thrill is gone. The thrill is gone. We haven't seen what we wanted to see. So you get nothing. You lose. It just goes like that. Good day, sir. It's, that's just how it is for me. That's how it is. We didn't get Kobe in season eight. I was expecting some Kobe merch, some Kobe uh, cards. I was expecting something Kobe related. And for the fact that we didn't get any of that, I'm just over it. Where do I put this locker code in at? What is going on here? My fault. We had to go back to the playbook in the community hub. I'm tripping. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new, go ahead and like the video right now because you're going to like the video. I mean, I'm just dedicated to bringing you the news on MT 
on 2K, my team, you know what I mean? And even more than that, we bring in my career news, all that. So go ahead and uh, lock in with your boy, you know what I mean? Yeet. So yeah, go ahead and lock that in. Team USA option pack ball drop. And then we mean, you know, lock that in. We're done. Go ahead, get your locker codes. We got a ball drop. All of the prizes are, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So you go ahead, drop the ball, get your option pack. Six cards in your option pack. Don't matter where the ball lands, you're gonna go ahead and get your option pack. You know what I mean? Yeah, so is this gonna take any okay? Here we got it. We got it. Boom. Okay, so let's go, let's go pop that. Let's go pop that option pack, dog. Pop that option pack real quick, doggy. Um, what I do want to say is, oh, Ray Allen, Lamar Odom. Lamar Odom is low-key going to be a big, small forward. I might want him. That's That might be who I want. Paul George out here, Chris Middleton, DeAndre Jordan. Yeah, I think we picking Lamar Odom. I'm not going to hold you. Lamar Odom might be the small forward. One of my favorite players on the planet. I'm not going to hold you. One of my favorite players on the planet. So we're going to go ahead and lock that in. Oh, and if you haven't got this locker code for the cover athletes, it's still working. It's going to be working until the 26th of August. They've extended the time on this cover athlete joint. So you can go ahead and get two of these. I love these two players right here. I'm not going to hold you. The coach, the coach Aja is not really, I mean, I don't know. We can look at it and see, but it's not doing too much. But these two players right here, Jason Tatum and uh, Vince Carter, they made my team. They definitely made my team. Um, Lamar Odom might be taking, might be taking uh one of these players off my squad though. I'm I'm just it's just like that for me. It's just like that. I wish that this Jason Tatum played the two spot. If he plays shooting guard, that would be that would be lick. That would be the lick. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is at this point. Um, I wanted to see what folks were talking about as far as this drop though we did want to see what folks was talking about so let's just get into that actually when it comes to this kd drop we're gonna take a second to oh gosh they don't care wavy don't care could have made the invincible with the jumper change kd leaner such a garbage drop okay so the consensus is in they don't like it slim they y'all didn't do the slim reaper y'all didn't do the slim reaper right so let me go see. I mean, I'm wait, hold on. Let me scroll a little bit more. Microtransactions, mid AF, drop code, who cares? No one cares. Oh wow, they out here. Um, do this instead, hurry up. Beasley? Y'all, y'all, y'all Jack and Beasley? Because we want to keep paying for day one odds this late into the cycle. LOL. Oh, okay. I mean a twenty NCAA twenty five is fire. Drop a locker code for 100 overall option packs. Yeah, they not jacking it. They not jacking it, 2K. They don't like how this is going. They do not like how y'all doing it out here. So we're going to leave that alone. We're going to leave that alone. We're going to get into the tail of the tape real quick. It's a few players that I wanted to see what's going on with you. What's going on with you? Jimmy Butler's out here, 100 overall KD. We're looking at the KDs. We want to look at Shea Gildress and Manu. We do want to look at these Kevin Durant's. Yeah, I'm Shan. We want to look at those Kevin Durant's. And then I want to look at Buddy right here. We want to look at Paul George too. And then this Slim Reaper, the, the Invincible Reaper. We do want to look at him. The rest of these cards, I'm not really too interested in just because I'm not. Let me know in the comment section if you are. Oh, Russell's here. I didn't see Russell there. Zach Levine's there too, but I'm honestly not too interested in Zach. Let me know if you are interested in any of those cards because, hey. You could be. You definitely could be. Let's see what uh, Russ is talking about first, though. 99 everything. We know that. We know that part. We're going to look at 70 badges, animations. He has Russell on very quick. Um, Kyrie dribble style. I see Trey Young. Pro 2 leaner. I don't know. I don't like the way this is looking. I'm just going to add a glance. Russell Westbrook's not looking like him. Not looking like the him that I would want him to be. Jason Tatum's moving step back. I'm not jacking that. I'm not jacking Russ. Um, let's look at Paul George real quick. 99 everything. You know that. You know these come with 70 badges. Paul George size up. Kimball Walker escape. Paul George on very quick. Pro 2 leaner. 
the hop jumper is pro. It's a lot of pro in there. Moving behind the back is pro. Moving step back is John Wall. He does have 15 dunk packages with jelly layups. So Paul George might be, uh, it looked like a buster to me, but I mean, to be a 6'8 buster that you could put at the point guard spot, I'm jacking that. I'm actually jacking that. So yeah, Paul George might be, might be it. Um, and then again, it's all, it all comes down to your play style. I'll just be talking about what my play style works like. So, I mean, you take that, you take that as you want to take, how that, however you want to take it. Kevin Durant on very quick pro two leaner is dirty. Uh, Steve Francis signature, Trey Young escape. Hmm. John Wall moving step back. I'm not seeing too much that I like here, but I mean, it is a 99. It's a, it's an invincible card, so it's going to be powerful. You're going to be able to do what you can do with it. A shooting guard that, I mean, a 6'10 shooting guard, small forward, what are you, I mean, you can't really gripe too much about this, but but he does have, I mean, for my play style, he's going to work. For my play style, it works. It's a W for my play style. I'm not going to hold you. The way I play, I go get to the rim and I'm just stepping back for threes. I'm not really shooting too many moving shots. I'm not really worried about too much of the huck a buck. But this guy does have like, let me see how many cards he has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 players out of KD. That's heavy. That's heavy weight. Um, let's look at Lamar Odom real quick because I just popped. This just popped for Lamar Odom. He has Jamal Murray signature size up. LO and very quick. His jumper, I don't remember if his jumper was too bad. Hop jumpers on Nikolai Joker. Joker hop jumper, pro three post fade. I wish he would have had Kobe on that thing. Trey Young escape. Steph moving behind the back. Pro moving step back is crazy. I'm not going to be able to work with that. I mean, I might be able to do something, but I'm not going to be able to work with that. At the small forward spot, though, eh, it could work. It could work. Sidearm Tomahawks, 15 dunk package with LeBron James layup package is crazy. We're looking at Jimmy Butler, though. Jimmy Butler's been a solid card since day one. Um, I mean, I don't know what to say about a 6'7". He could play the point guard spot now. 6'7", point guard, shooting guard. I mean, we're looking at Jimmy Butler's jumper on very quick. Pro 2 leaner. Michael Jordan post fade. Normal 2 hop jumper. That's crazy. He could have got a little something. They could have did a little something with that. Um, Jimmy Butler motion style. Kyrie Irving dribble style. 12 dunk packages is kind of light. I would have expected another couple out of that. Steph Curry's moving step back uh, paired with Trey Young escape is going to be heavy. That's a nice combo that I like to use. I'm not going to hold you. Derrick Rose signature size up. The moving crossovers on John Wall. So, yeah, I mean, Butler is going to be one of those. That's that's a, I mean, that's a double, a double U invincible, if I should say so myself. This 100 overall, this 100 overall Kevin Durant, though. Shooting guard, small forward, 6'10". I mean, 60 badges on bro. Um, The 98s are going to come in the passing section, 97 passing IQ. That's a heavy card, low-key. That's low-key a heavy card. Ka Kawhi Irving, dribble style, Kawhi. Kyrie Irving, dribble style, Kawhi Leonard, Moshe style. With Steve Francis' signature size up. The escape move is on Trey. He has Trey Young escape move. And then we have John Wall's moving step back on him. And the jumper is still Kevin Durant on very quick. Uh, the hop jumper is still Kevin Durant, Pro 2 leaner. He does have Kobe's post fade. I mean, 12 dunk packages with long athlete layup style is not too bad. This is uh, the Seattle Supersonic rookie style, rookie style KD. So take that with a grain of salt. Because I don't know how I don't know how well that card plays for me, but it is he is a six ten shooting guard. So I mean I'm he plays he plays if I get him he plays. I'm not gonna hold you. At least for now he plays. Shea Gildress plays my point guard spot. I'm not gonna hold you if I get him he plays. He actually plays. Where is the ninety eight at though? The ninety eight is gonna be on his post hook and his post fade. So he has ninety eights in the post and a ninety eight standing dunk. That's, uh, that's not too bad. Shea Gilders on very quick, which is not too bad of a jumper. It took me a minute to learn it. Um, Kyrie dribble style, Ka Kawhi Leonard motion style. Trey Young's leaner. That's different. DeMar DeRozan's post fade, which is uh, not too bad. I'm not going to hold you. I, I'm not mad at that, uh, at that post fade. 
I mean, I'm not going to use it much, but I'm not mad at it. 12 dunk packages with long athlete. We looking at Trey Young escape move and John Wall's moving step back again. De'Aaron Fox's breakdown move. You can, uh, I can sig out of that. I know how to sig out of that. Tim Hardaway's combo. I know how to sig out of that. So I'm not mad at this card. I'm not really, I'm not really mad at this card at all. I want to see what he pairs up like against his, uh, his season six pro pass card. The season six pro pass card, he has 157 stats over Buddy. But as far as the animation wise, I wanted to see what animations were different. And I'm looking at, okay, these cards are identical. These cards are low key identical with um just stat upgrades, basically. Basically, it's just stat upgrades. Are there any tendency upgrades? This card has the same tendencies as, yeah, same tendencies all around the board. But, um, I mean, <laughs> I mean, uh, it's just badge upgrades and, you know what I mean, stat upgrades. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But Shea Gildress looking like a W to me because, I mean, with the pro pass, Shea Gildress, I was working out. So I know with that 100 overall upgrade, I'm definitely working out. We are definitely putting in some pain. Uh, looking at Mono Ginobili, though, right here, 60 badges, 12 gold ones. Um, animation wise oh wait I want to see what his 98's are where do his 98's come in at passing no his 98's don't come in the passing section he doesn't seem to have any 98's where are his 98's this is a 100 overall card right 100 overall card point guard shooting guard Manu 6'6 six, six. Um, I don't know where his 98's come in at oh rebounding okay that makes sense I guess they went ahead and uh, made Manu a, a hit rock. See what these um, Emmanuel Quickly and Joe Ingles upper release. Emmanuel Quickly's lower base is that good? That's a good base. I have no idea what that hits like. Pro two leaner on bro. We're looking at a lot of pro in his uh, six. His pro behind the back, moving behind the back is on pro. Moving spin and hezzy. His moving hezzy is on pro. Is that a? I don't. I don't know what pro is. I don't know what they doing out here. They, I mean, they gave him, I don't know what they gave him. This looks like an L. I'm not going to hold you, but it's a hundred overall card. So I can't say too much bad about it. 13 dunk packages, Trey Young escape move, James Harden layup package, which is not too bad. Um, when it comes down to it, this card is, has a lot of pro in it, bro. Chris Paul moving step back. Uh, I would have liked to seen like a Chris Paul moving hezzy on him with like a John Wall step back. Maybe a Steph Curry step back or something. So, I mean, it is what it is, though. It is what it is. This Dark Matter, is this the free Kevin Durant? Or is this the, uh, no, this is not the free Kevin Durant, is it? This is the free Kevin Durant. 98 three-point shot on Buddy. One of these is the free Kev. I don't know which one it is. I don't know. I'm. Let's go back here. Let's go back here. And look at the card art. Okay, this first one right here is going to be, this one's going to be the free one. This is definitely going to be the free one. The last one right here on the, on the list, that's small forward shooting guard. Okay, makes sense to me. So we're looking at the one that's bent. The, the one that's bent is the, okay, yeah, Thunder Kev. Thunder Kev is a small forward shooting guard, 6'10". Um, it's a big ass shooting guard, excuse my French. but um. I mean, as far as the stat wise, it looked garbage just for it to be July is it's looking crazy. You know what I'm saying? But um, I can't I mean, I can't be mad at it. I can't be mad at it. It's a it's a free card, bro. Kevin Durant on very quick. All Kevin Durant six pro three fade pro three fade Michael Jordan dribble style. All Kevin Durant six. Moving behind the back is on pro. James Harden moving step back. Uh, under the basket regulars. We're looking at 13 dunk packages with long athlete layup package. I mean, hey, if you want to throw that card on your team, hey, throw that card on your team. You know what I'm saying? How is that even a pink diamond? That's not a pink diamond. I mean, that's not a uh, dark matter. That's a... I don't know what to call that. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to call that card. That's not Pink Diamond. I mean, <laughs> look at me. It's it maybe it's Pink Diamond. It's not Dark Matter. This uh this version of Kev though, this is the one that comes in every position. And Buddy is a uh, 
He's looking better than the other one. 99 three-point shot. 97 defense. 98 interior. Yeah, I mean, hey, it is. It is what it is. Kevin Durant on very quick. Pro two leaner. Kobe fade on bro. Uh, Trey Young escape on buddy. John Wall moving step back. John Wall moving crossover. Chris Paul Hezzy. That Chris Paul Hezzy is nice. 12 dunk packages with long athlete on buddy. Kyrie dribble style. Kawhi's motion style. That's a player. That's a player, player. That's a player, player. Now let's look at uh, Goat Kev real quick before we get out of here. Um, 77 badges, basically. You know what I mean? Big 77 badges. Big 99 everything. 99 everything. Goat Kevin Durant. Y'all not messing with this card, buddy. If you lucky enough to pull this card, I don't know what Ben Shepard lower base is like. I don't know what Ben Shepard's lower base is like. I don't know what Oscar Robinson upper release is like. I do know what that's like, but I don't know what Ben Shepard's lower base hitting like. That's that's not one I played with too much. 12 dunk packages, LeBron James layup style. We still looking at Trey Young escape. We still looking at John Wall moving step back. Penny Hardaway's spin. Pro moving hezzy. I would have expected a different move has he pro two leaner and post fade is on pro two. I would have expected a different leaner. I would have expected a different post fade on a card. That's a goat. He does have Steve Francis signature size up Kawhi's dribble style. And I mean, Kyrie's dribble style and Kawhi's motion style. Still this card not looking too. I mean, it don't look too beefy. De'Aaron, he does have De'Aaron Fox breakdown. It's not looking too beefy though for it to be the goat. The only thing we looking at really is that it has all the attributes and all the badges. That's really the the catch. I guess they supposed to. I don't know. They I'm, I don't know if down at 2K if they understand that we don't care about 99 everything. We know it's a powerhouse. We looking for better sigs than this. We looking for. So next year, I just hope that y'all y'all really dig in. You understand that. uh we're looking for signatures. We're not looking for all that, whatever, hoopla, hoot nanny that y'all putting into these cards, bro. We're really looking for the signature styles. You know what I'm saying? All right, now let's get to what we came to do. Get to the brass tacks. We got to see what the business is on the business end of things. We looking for, we looking for a GOAT KD. Low key, low key, SIG wise, we not looking for a GOAT KD, but... For the most part, we're looking for a go KD. We're looking for a Kobe, to be honest. Honestly, we're looking for a Shea Gildress. We're looking for a Shea. I'm not going to hold you. I'm not going to hold you at all. We're looking for a Shea Gildress. We wouldn't mind coming out of here with one of these, uh, one of these pink, I keep calling them pink diamonds. I'm not going to hold you. That's just what they feel like. To, that's what it feel like to me. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't mind coming out of here with one of these dark matters. I'm not mad at the dark matter. I want this Shea Gildress Alexander, though. I want him to run. I want him to run for my team. You know what I mean? I want him to run point guard. Honestly, this Kev right here, I'm not mad at if I get this Kev right here, I'm not mad. I'm not. And if I pop Paul, if I pop on Paul George, if I pop for Paul George, I'm not mad either. He plays the point guard spot. Let me stop being annoying though. Um the 10 pack. Bust a 20 pack. We're gonna bust a 20 pack and then we're gonna grind right back to it. I'm not gonna hold you. We're gonna, we're gonna drop off a 20 pack. We're gonna grind up that 400k MT throughout the week. No matter what we get. I didn't grind much this week. I've been doing a lot of editing. I've been doing a whole lot of different, you know what I mean? Different editing. Just trying to get right. Um, trying to recoup. What do we got here? A dark. We got one of them darkies. Hopefully it's not a lock in. I don't really care for a lock in, but it would be nice. It would be nice. Okay, we got a Sonics Kevin Durant. Is this the free Kevin? Dur I'm not sure. No, this is this is a point guard small forward Kevin. We can put Kevin at the one spot. I'm not gonna hold you. I mean, I'm not looking to do that. That's not what I'm looking to do. I'm right. I'm not really looking to put him at the three spot either. We got. I mean, we put Lamar Odom at our three spot. Not going to hold you, but I mean, because we just looked at the tail of the tape on Buddy and for him to have, I mean, he does have Trey Young escape. He does have John Wall's movement step back, but for him to have that, okay, he does have a 99 three-point shot too. Um, It could work. It could work out. It could work out. 
I mean, that's a big point guard. That is a big point guard. That's a big old point guard. So it could work out. I mean, at the end of the day, these packs looking kind of kind of light. We kind of came out the gate and got what got a dark matter in the second, what second, third pack. I'm not really like, I'm not really jacking that. I'm really hoping we get our first goat pull. Like, can we get our first goat out of this pack drop? You know what I mean? We've been holding on to this MT for like four pack drops, four or five pack drops. I think we got up to close to two mil and we went big. We Well, we did 700K for the last, uh, for the last drop. Didn't we do 700K for, for Yao Ming? But yeah, that was kind of whatever. I was really trying to fish for that Yao Ming goat, but I mean, it was big bait. That was big old bait. So if you get seven, seven foot six bait, that's just, you know what I mean? It, it, you can't really, you can't really sleep on that. They, uh, that was really big bait. This here is not, I'm not going to call Kevin Durant as big a bait, but he is, I mean, this is, this is prime bait. We honestly looking for Kobe Bryant. So if they drop Kobe next week, it's going to be lackluster. It's been lackluster since they switched him out i've been off i've been off 2k mentally i've been like out of it i've been since they since they did the switcheroo or whatever happened with the uh collector level reward type type joint as we get that lock in that's the first lock in michael bridges um i mean when they did that that's not the darius garland we wanted it kind of took me out of the game mentally but uh i'm still here i'm still grinding it's still fun to me 2k is still my premier game it's still where my main focus is as far as gaming. Still, you know, my first choice in gaming. I'm I'm just branching out, doing some other things at the moment, though, while we have downtime and we waiting on news. So other than that, I'm just I it took me out of the whole the whole competitive mode for the fact that we don't have a 250 to grind for. We don't have any type of I mean, y'all just took all the competitiveness out of the game. And then with the switch of root type is whatever's, you know, what I mean that. That turned me off too. So I could I could ramble all day about that, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna try not to at least. As we get another Kevin Durant, we get us another KD. This is the same KD. I wonder how much that goes for. How much we can get off of that? Hopefully, it's upwards of 120, 160, some something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Don't get me to line. As we hit the pack 17, we get another Damian Lillard that we've seen 47,000 times this year. Pack 18 is looking crazy. Hopefully, okay, we got two more packs left. Hopefully, we can get a shake out of one of these. And no shake out of 19. See what 20s holds. What does 20 hold? Ah, nothing. So, we got a couple of KDs. We got a couple of KDs. Uh, we got a pink diamond, Devin Booker. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, we did pull a KD. We pulled a couple of lock-ins, I believe. Did we pull a couple of them? Or 90K. That's only 90K. We're going to take that 90K, though. I'm not going to hold you. Not going to hold you. Can we add any of this to the exchange? No, that goes for a regular summit pack. Um, the rest of this is worth 26K. Let's just take our 26K and get on with that. Take our 35, 37, whatever that was, 375. Um, so we sitting at 700K. And we're going to grind our way back up from that. I'm not going to hold you. Um, honestly, to be honest, I do want to pull more packs, though. Like, where, where do we go from here? I say we just go Kobe. We go Kobe for a... Sometimes these base packs, sometimes they they hit. I'm not going to lie. We pulled, we pulled out of a base pack before. They hit sometimes. So, I mean, I'm not going to say don't pull a base. If you don't got much MT, pull a base pack. Why not? I mean, it couldn't hurt. It still packs. Something could happen. I mean, we've gotten, we came up out of these base packs before, so I just know it's possible. I just know it's really possible. Um, What do y'all think about them Lakers, though? Team USA going right, but what do y'all think them Lakers going to do? Lakers is looking kind of, kind of chunky. We looking kind of chunky right now. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I got high hopes for these Lakers. I got high hopes for this Laker team this year. I do. I do. I'm, I'm going to just say it. Let me know in the comment section who's your team and if you got hopes for your team this year. Because I got high hopes for my team. I know that. There's nothing popping out of this base pack, though. This is looking kind of kind of garbo. But this is who we came here for. This is what we came here to do. So this is uh, another Kyrie. We've seen Kyrie and Damian Lillard purple cards 
47 million times this year, bro. It's no way that I'm this deep into this year and I haven't collected as many packs as I thought I should collect. I mean, as many cards as I thought I should collect. All of these are always just doubles all the time. Nothing came out of that. Okay, we didn't, we didn't get nothing. We didn't get nothing out of this base out of this base box. Base box just looking nasty. Nasty, nasty. Okay, but I do want y'all to know you can get for 50k. This is VC deal. You can get a deluxe invincible pack. And then um and then you can get this uh this invincible option pack for 79,000 MT. So 50k MT and 80k MT are the uh the hits for that, you know what I'm saying? While while supplies last, I guess, there's no timer on these, so I don't know how long they and we got 13 days left in this season. So we got two weeks, a little under two weeks left in this season. I don't know what to tell y'all at this point. I don't. I don't know how to explain to you that um that you can get it how you live, but you gotta live how you get it, you know what I'm saying? Uh for the most part. This is what we working with. We pop, we pop Kev. We got Kev out of the pack. Look at Kev with no facial hair. Young, young Kevin with the upside down Spalding. We did get, we got Lamar Odom. We got Lamar Odom out of our option pack, and then we pulled Michael Bridges. So let's see what these cards are actually hitting for. We do need to see exactly what these cards, what these jumpers are like. I want to see what this Kev jumper is like. Because uh he might be him. I mean, he just might be Timothy. Timothy Vega, Timothy, I don't know. Don't give me the line. Um, I like it. I like how, I mean, maybe it could just be me in this practice facility. But I like, I mean, I just like KD's player build. I like the way his, uh, I like these animations shooting wise on bro. On this, uh, this dark matter KD is not, it's not bad. I mean, the jumper, you know, the jumper is smooth. I like how he sigs into his jumper, though. I mean, honestly, it's just, it makes the day, it makes my day. Seeing some of these jumper animations out of bro. Um, Personally, in real life, I like to see Kev, I like to see Kev work his way to the elbow right here. And then pull up. That's one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite situations to get bro into. Just pulling up from right there is... It's just one of the it's just one of the things that it is something quirky that I like out of life makes me kind of visually just like, oh, he did that. Oh, he's him. Michael Bridges. The fact that Michael Bridges is here with a new jumper. Did he get a new jumper? Let's see what that's hidden for. I mean, for a 97 three point shot, I'm not going to call it too bad. I think that three could be higher than that. But the jumper is smooth. The jumper is butter smooth. I mean, it got a little funniness to it. I don't know what it's like in game, but the jumper is OK. The jumper is OK by my standards. I mean. But he doesn't play point guard, I don't think. I don't think he plays point guard. I think this card is a shooting guard small forward. So, I mean, you can uh, you can spot him up. He can be a spot up or he could just run the rock off ball. I mean, off point. You can run the rock off your shooting guard type. Sh type sh this jumper's not bad though. Moving wise, it looks it looks okay moving. The slow on the slow fade, I like the slow fade out of this card. I like the hop out of this card. I want to try. I mean, I'm definitely putting. I want to try him in the lineup. He's kind of short, but I want to try him in the lineup. I'm definitely gonna try that KD in the lineup. He is dark matter. But for the sake of, you know, putting out a gameplay maybe with him, if I can get him to pop. I mean, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? At this point, who knows? It's late in the game. So I'm really looking for bigger cars to do things. I'm really looking for these invincibles to do some things. I want to see what Lamar Odom is hitting for. Oh, that's sick. Did you see that sig up? Did you see that sig up? Let me pull up his animations. I'm tripping. Trey Young escape. Okay, I'm he got me on a brain for it. The the jumper is a little bit funny visually, but I don't think it's gonna be too bad. I don't think it's gonna be too bad. The jumper is a little bit, I mean, visually it's a little funny. 
because he has kind of a hold in it, but you can't, I don't feel it in the release. I mean, I mean, just speaking for being in here in this practice facility, I don't feel it in the release, but visually it looks like it should be a hitch to it. So that is what it is. But we looking at, we looking at a good card out of Lamar Odom. I'm not gonna hold you. I'm putting him at my three spot and I'm running with him. You know what I'm saying? I wish that, uh, that that Tim Duncan card could play the three spot, but it is what it is. So yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not mad at the jumper, the way it's feeling in here. But for him to be a 99 invincible type player, I'm just looking to see what, how freak he can get pause. I'm just seeing, I'm just looking to see how, uh, how freaky he can get in game, you know, on online servers, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm gonna get into that in a little minute. I don't know what y'all got going, but got it. time for y'all to go. Kobe. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.